Welcome to the NVIDIA GPU Operator Overview. This unit provides a comprehensive overview of the crucial role played by NVIDIA GPUs in handling the exponential growth of data and AI applications. We highlight how Kubernetes has become the leading platform for scaling GPU applications across various industries. We explain the components of a Kubernetes cluster with the GPUs and the challenges associated with managing and scaling these components. We introduce the NVIDIA GPU operator as an open source solution that automates the deployment and management of all necessary software for GPU utilization in Kubernetes, streamlining the process and enabling faster time to outcome for GPU accelerated applications. We also emphasize the advanced features, compatibility, and benefits offered by the GPU operator, making it an essential tool for simplifying GPU accelerated applications on Kubernetes. Let's get started by reviewing the outline for this overview unit. In this unit, we cover an overview of AI and the need for AI acceleration for handling large-scale data and the role of NVIDIA GPUs in advancing AI capabilities. An introduction to the NVIDIA GPU operator detailing the purpose and benefits of NVIDIA GPU operator, automating the deployment and management of GPU components in Kubernetes, and the features and capabilities offered by GPU Operator. Describe and explore the components of a Kubernetes cluster with GPUs, understanding the specific components related to GPU utilization and the role of control plane, GPU devices, container runtime, device plugin, and kubelet. Exploring the challenges in managing the GPU's components and lifecycle and how the GPU Operator addresses these challenges and simplifies management. Explore GPU deployment by taking a step-by-step -step look at how NVIDIA GPUs are deployed in Kubernetes. An overview of NVIDIA's enterprise-level support for GPU deployment. Before we dive in, let's begin with the learning objectives for this unit. After you view this unit, you should be able to Understand the fundamental concepts of AI and the need for AI acceleration in various industries. Familiarize yourself with the NVIDIA GPU operator and its role in automating the deployment and management of GPU components in Kubernetes. Gain knowledge about the key components in a Kubernetes cluster with GPUs and their significance in enabling GPU acceleration. Identify the challenges of managing GPU components and their lifecycle in Kubernetes environments and explore how the GPU operator addresses these challenges. Acquire a foundational understanding of the process of deploying NVIDIA GPUs in Kubernetes. Recognize the importance of NVIDIA's enterprise-level support for GPU deployment and its role in ensuring compatibility, troubleshooting, and optimization for GPU-accelerated applications. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Every industry uses AI. Our ability to collect data has led to revolutionary advances for AI applications using deep learning and inference. But the amount of data we're collecting for these applications is growing exponentially and can overwhelm a server's ability to process it. This is why AI needs acceleration. And NVIDIA GPUs and SmartNICs future-proof your platform against exponential data growth. Over the last years, NVIDIA has leveraged Kubernetes to scale GPU applications across many verticals. It is the foundation of NVIDIA Fleet Command NVIDIA Base Command, and many other platforms like our internal AI training platform called Maglev, and NVIDIA Inferencing platform called Triton. And now, we're working closely with many of our partners and customers to build and scale their managed Kubernetes services with GPUs. Together, GPUs and Kubernetes have emerged as the leading platform for high compute applications, which are increasingly powering modern life. Let's explore how NVIDIA is able to bring the power of GPUs to Kubernetes environments. GPU Operator is an open source software that gives IT infrastructure teams everything they need to use GPUs on Kubernetes. It does this by automating the deployment and management of all NVIDIA software required to use GPUs on Kubernetes. This allows organizations faster time to outcome and an error-free automated path to scaling their GPU accelerated applications on Kubernetes. Let's examine how the GPU Operator benefits Kubernetes environments. Kubernetes has become the dominant platform to deploy deep learning, and it is extremely difficult to develop commercially viable AI models without GPU acceleration. GPU Operator is the glue for this tech stack, making it easy to run GPU accelerated applications on Kubernetes. 
To deploy a GPU operator, DevOps teams run a single command to deploy the Helm chart. The DPU operator will install all software required to use GPUs with Kubernetes. Kubernetes is now able to schedule GPU accelerated pods on all GPU worker nodes in the cluster. Without human intervention, newly added GPU worker nodes in the cluster will be detected and GPU operator will automatically configure and install all software necessary to allow your GPU accelerated applications to run. Also, GPU operator simplifies lifecycle management by providing automation to reconfigure and update all the operands in the GPU operator. These updates are executed in a rolling upgrade fashion to minimize downtime and maximize efficiency. GPU operator allows you to enable or disable and configure advanced features like GPU Direct RDMA for better performance and multi-instance GPU or MIG for better utilization. Lastly, to monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize these features, GPU operator offers insights into GPU telemetry by deploying the DCGM exporter. Now that you have a general understanding of what the GPU operator is and its benefits when deployed in a Kubernetes cluster, let's deep dive into the anatomy of a GPU-powered Kubernetes cluster. In order to understand the value of the GPU operator, let's do a quick primer on what a Kubernetes cluster looks like with GPUs. We start with the control plane of the cluster on the left. This includes components such as the API server and etcd that maintain the state of the cluster. The control plane is how users interact with the cluster, for example, using the kube control command, and does not typically run jobs, though it could be designed that way using taints. The control plane can also be replicated for high availability. On the right, you have a typical node in the cluster. It has some components that are of interest when running GPUs. We have the GPU and the driver. The container runtime such as Docker, containers, CRIO, and the NVIDIA extensions to the runtime to enable GPUs. Then we have the device plugin that enables GPUs as resources that the control plane scheduler can assign pods to. And finally, you have the kubelet, which is the agent on the node that communicates with the control plane. What you see in green depicts the minimum software needed for utilizing NVIDIA GPUs with Kubernetes. These software components are provided as individual containers so that anybody can build their own automation for installation and lifecycle management of these components. Customer feedback has highlighted challenges in managing the lifecycle of these components due to compatibility issues between the components, upgrades, scaling, and applying bug fixes in production clusters. The NVIDIA GPU operator was developed to address these concerns and provide a solution. As covered in the previous slides, the GPU operator provides simplification and automation and therefore reduces the complexity of using GPUs with Kubernetes. In addition to these benefits, the GPU operator also allows management at the cluster level. Configuration settings can be set at the cluster level and are deployed across the cluster. DevOps, therefore, don't have to manage each node individually. Another advantage of the GPU operator is that your existing software stack that is used for CPU worker nodes can be used for GPU accelerated worker nodes as well. Previously, DevOps had to maintain a software stack for CPU worker nodes and one for GPU worker nodes. Lastly, the GPU operator deploys additional software like MIG Manager, GPU Feature Discovery, and many more operands that provide customers advanced features in lifecycle management. Now that you have an understanding of what a GPU accelerated Kubernetes cluster looks like and how the GPU operator reduces complexity, let's turn our attention to the deployment of the GPU operator. The GPU operator is installed with a single command. The single command is sent to the K8's control plane via the management nodes as shown on the right of the slide. Interesting things will then happen at the k 8 node level displayed in the middle of the slide. Kubernetes worker nodes with GPUs will be detected and all GPU operator operands will be automatically deployed. Without additional intervention, GPU accelerated applications can now be run on the Kubernetes cluster. Please keep in mind that for Kubernetes worker nodes without GPUs, nothing will happen those nodes are left completely intact. GPU operator only processes nodes that host GPU devices. Deploying a Kubernetes hybrid cluster, some nodes have GPUs and some don't have GPUs, has become simpler and faster than ever. Let's see what happens if you introduce more worker nodes into the cluster after initial deployment. 
The GPU Operator Node Feature Discovery from NVIDIA is a tool designed to simplify the management and configuration of GPU resources in Kubernetes clusters. It helps identify the nodes in the cluster that have NVIDIA GPUs and provides information about the GPU capabilities and features available on each node. In this example, after the node feature discovery automatically detects two new worker nodes with GPUs, it calls the GPU operators to automatically deploy on those nodes. Overall, the GPU operator node feature discovery simplifies the management of GPU resources in Kubernetes clusters by automating the detection of new GPU worker nodes and deployment of the GPU operator on the nodes, which facilitates efficient GPU resource allocation and scheduling within the cluster. Now that you have an understanding about the deployment of the GPU operator and how you can use it to discover and update new worker nodes, let's switch our focus to the robust GPU operator ecosystem. The GPU operator supports a wide range of operating systems, container engines, and container platforms. In terms of operating systems, the major ones on the list are Ubuntu, CentOS, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux Core OS. For the container runtime, we support Docker Engine, ContainerD, and CRIO. GPU operator works on upstream Kubernetes distribution and commercial on-prem or cloud offerings. Red Hat OpenShift, VM or vSphere with Tanzu for the self-managed distributions. Google GKE, Amazon EKS, and Azure AKS for the fully managed CSP offerings. In addition, it supports physical and NVIDIA virtual GPUs. What this means is the following deployments fit very well with GPU operator. K8 node running on bare metal. K8 node running inside VM using GPU pass-through and K8 node running inside VM using vGPU. So now that you have an understanding of all the environments in which the GPU operator can be deployed, let's close this unit with an examination of NVIDIA Enterprise Support. Oh. NVIDIA Enterprise Support is a service offering provided by NVIDIA to enhance the support and assistance for enterprise customers using NVIDIA GPU technologies. It is worth noting that both the GPU operator and NVIDIA Enterprise support are included with NVIDIA AI Enterprise. The GPU operator is hosted on the NGC Enterprise catalog and is pre-configured to be used with NVIDIA vGPUs. By combining the GPU operator with NVIDIA Enterprise support, users benefit from both the powerful management capabilities of the GPU operator and the enhanced support and assistance provided by NVIDIA. This combination helps streamline GPU resource management, accelerate troubleshooting processes, and ensure a reliable and efficient GPU-accelerated infrastructure and enterprise Kubernetes deployments. Thank you for your time and attention. Please be sure to check out our other videos to learn more. See you in a future unit.